hello everyone today i am going to show you guys about how you can create different types of roofs in revit like shed roof flat roof gazebo roof irregular curved roofs triangular roofs etc i have tried to cover every possible command and ways of creating roofs in revit if you think that i have missed something you can always tell me in the comments before we continue the tutorial, let me ask you to like and share my videos, leave a comment below and subscribe to my channel. And also if you have any kind of difficulty or query related to Revit, you can ask me anytime. So now let's start. In this video, I have covered the commands of roof by footprint, roof by extrusion and roof by face. The other commands like soffit, fascia and gutter, uh, I will talk about that in some other video. So before creating the roof, I have created a, I've created these walls on which I want to create the roof. Select this command roof by footprint. I want the roof to be created on level 2. So yes, then you can always select the boundary line of the walls or you can uh, use these uh, uh, commands in the draw box like a rectangle or a circle or a polygon you can always add an offset value here for example I have added two feet so now it is the roof lines are two feet outside the wall lines so you know yes by default the roof has been created like this Now select this roof, click on edit footprint, go to level 1, select all of these lines and uncheck this defines slope. Now click OK and if you go to 3D you can see that now the a flat roof has been created. Again select this roof and click on modify sub elements by default there are four points on the corners select one point and add a value of its height for example like 15 feet repeat this step on the other side and now you can see the roof the type of roof which i have created just by adding values on these corners You can always reset the shape whenever you want. Now if I want more than four points then select the roof and select this command add point and start adding points wherever you wish for. You can add as many points as you want. Now go to 3D, select this roof, click on modify sub elements and start adding value on each and every point according to the design. So now with the help of just adding values on each of these points, I have created a, I have created an irregular triangular shape type of uh, roof.
to join the walls with the roof select the wall and then select this attach top base then click on the roof and you can see that the wall is attached to the roof Go to level 1 and place some columns as shown. Uh, I have placed two columns at a 10 feet height and the middle column to be at a height of 15 feet. Now place beams on these columns. Make sure 3D snapping is checked so that the beam is placed on the top of the columns instead of level 2. Create a flat roof above these columns on level 2. Now select the roof, click on this big spots command, after that click on this beam and now you can see that the roof has adjusted itself along the beam. Now create another flat roof like this. Select the roof and click on add split line. Go to level 2 and start placing the lines as shown so instead of just placing the points you can place uh, you can uh, place the points along with the lines it is very similar to the command of add point If you want to create a gazebo type of roof, select this roof by footprint command and select a polygon from this draw box. You can adjust the number of sides of this polygon. You can enter from between 3 and 36. And now you can see that a gazebo type of roof has been created you can also adjust its uh, slope 
first let me attach the wall to the to the roof now select the roof and from the properties dialog box you can adjust the offset of the roof and you can change the slope from here You can also create a single slope roof for that. Create a rectangle, rectangular footprint of the roof at an offset, or you can either keep the offset as zero. So, add create a plan of it, and then add the slope arrow at wherever you want to create the slope and. Now you can see a one-sided slope for the roof is, has been created. You can adjust the slope of this type of roof by dragging these arrows in the upward or downward direction as shown. Now in the level 1 floor plan, add a reference plane like this. Assign a name to this reference plane. Then go to north elevation. And from here, select this roof by extrusion command. Set the reference plane to 1. Click OK. And now create a profile for the roof basically it's uh, elevation you simply need to create a single line uh, profile now click ok go to 3d and with the help of these arrows you can adjust the extrusion of the roof you can also change the thickness of the roof of any type of roof and you can also edit its profile whenever you want If you want to create opening within this roof, select it, then click on this vertical command. Go to level on floor plan and within this box, create any type of uh, openings which you want to create. And now you can see that the of these the, this, the circular openings have been created on this roof. 
now there is a third command which is roof by face this is the same command which is present in the messing and site tab site tab so go to level one floor plan and add an other reference plane here and assign a name to it i'm going to name it two after that go to uh, messing mode and in the north elevation set the reference plane to one and draw draw this uh, this subline then set the reference plane to two and create and place another type of subline these lines are basically according to the design then go to 3d select both of these lines and click on create form then finish the mass and select the command which is roof by face select this mass you can also select this command from the architecture tab and then click on create roof so now you can see that how easy it is to create an irregular type of roof in Revit. You can also add more than one slope arrows for the roof. For example, I want to create a two sloped roof as shown in the video. So that's all for today. I hope you like this tutorial. If you have any kind of difficulty or query related to Revit, you can ask me anytime. I will meet you guys in the next video. Till then, goodbye and take care. And most importantly, don't forget to like, share and subscribe.